Hi everybody, it's Barbie from Nelly and Ruth Design, and we're continuing today with the collage master boards, making them into tags. Um, but first I want to thank you for joining in, watching, and um, hopefully you will subscribe if you see what you like here. Um, so let's get started. Uh, it's just before Christmas and I have a ton to do and I want to try to get some snowshoeing in today. I have a sick dog, so I need to take care of her a little bit. So I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet and um, I'll just show you um, a little bit of how I collage, um, embellish my collage tags. So this was the board that I originally showed yesterday um and i will say that i got it all laid out i took photos of it and then i took everything off and i put everything back on um i did a second board where this is the second one that i did um where i just i did my grid lines like i originally showed and then as I went, I put all my larger items, I glued everything down as I went along. Um, and the one thing I wanted to show you that um, where I had little, little spaces, I took, I did it on here as well, a couple of them. I took, I don't know if I have it, my pattern, whoops, I took my, I have everything, all my leftovers in here. But I took my pattern um, page and where they had the little diagrams, I cut these out. Um, the little diagrams as to how you lay out your paper on your pattern. Um, so I wanted something else other than a, a color or a pattern. So I thought these were fun. So let's start with the one. This is the second one that I did. This one I'm going to cut into four by six. So I'm going to set that aside, but let's get this cut into the three by five um, papers, tags. And I'm just going to, and this paper here, I didn't give you the dimensions yesterday. This was extra paper that we had from our office, um, just this plain white paper. And this measured out, let me just move this. Like I said, I normally use 12 by 12. This one measures out approximately 12, 16 and a half by 11. So you can use any size paper. I just happened to use this. I didn't want to use um, a 12 by 12. If you want your back um, with a pattern on it, then, you know, use a, use a nice 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper and collage the plain side. And then you have your, um, you have your collage on the front and a nice pattern on the back. So there's our first five. Now, what I'm going to do, because I did have a small strip up on top here, but my paper won't fit in this way. So I'm going to cut the first two um, All right, and this one, this one I'm going to cut four by six because I've already started. I don't know what I was thinking. So here's my four. See, it's not a perfect world. And so here, let's do this one four by six. Let's cut these right down to six so I don't mess this up. Now, because this... <clears throat> because you're not going to get two four by six out of this, you can now decide, do I want it? Do I want the six to go this way? So I want this part, or do I want the six 
here. So I'm going to do this part here. So this will be my four by six. This one here measures out now. five by four, and now I can make this five by three if I want to. So I have that option. So, so again, I'm going to make this the four by six. So here's my four by six. And then let me see here, I wanna see something. I want to measure this out. And again, you don't have to do them all. Um, even though I had done the grids on this, you can definitely see that I messed up. So I'm going to do these, because I have nine inches, I'm going to do these three. I'll do the, the rest of this three by five. And I'll actually yield more. So here's a three. So now I can do my three by, do with nice three by five. So here's a three by five. And I'll actually get another three by five. That was my intention. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to flip this one here. And then this we can use on another project. So this will be a nice five. And I'm going to do this one. And like I always say, it's not a perfect world. Mistakes are made, but you can easily recover, especially when it's a collage. Yeah, these are gonna be cute. Okay, so these are the four by six. Let me just make sure. Four by six, so we have four by six, four by six, and then these are three by five. And then these here, I may, what I might do with these is I may <laughs> use these for a side pocket. So I could actually just take a little bit off here. I could use these as a, a tuck spot, um, a diagonal tuck spot. Because these came out to what again? Four, four by five. All right, let me think about that because I may want to use these for um, another type of tag or journal card. I don't want to cut them just yet. Okay, this one here, um, we definitely are going to do four by six on these because that's what this was intended for. <laughs> okay, so there's four. Okay, so here's a four by six. This one again is measuring out the uh, approximately four by five. So I'm going to set that aside with the others. And this is four. six. Now, what I was going to show you on the other one before I cut wrong, on here you're going to see that um, we're going to get two this one I'm going to actually do 
I'm going to do these horizontally. So I do it for, I'll be able to get one six out of that and then I'll have a leftover. But let's do, is that right? Yep. So I'm just going to flip it four. And again, I'm going to do this side because I love Gail's paper. So now we have a horizontal versus a vertical. <clears throat> There's another four. And that's the nice thing when you do a collage master four. <clears throat> you can pretty much just and I like this in here, so I'm going to have this be in the six. So now we have another. And then this one here, what's this measuring out to? Let's take a look. Okay, so this is a three. This I may hang on to because I could do I could do strips of this down a page. So I'm not going to be in a big yank to cut this yet. So these are like my extras that I can play with. If I want to do a corner, this could be a, I could cut this in half for a belly band. So we're going to set these aside. And that's another small one. These little ones here. Okay. So we have two horizontal. We have two four by six vertical, which you could also, if there is no writing on them, you can also have them be vertical as well. But when you have print in here, you do want to make sure that it's um, the proper way. These, all, these are all. Okay. All right. So I pulled some extra little embellishing um, items out. These I will most likely stitch around. So I can do that really quick. And then when I get done, because I'm stitching, I don't want the stitching to show on this side. So most likely I will cut another four by six and I will put it maybe a, a pretty pattern paper on the, the back here where you can actually, um, you can do your journaling. So these gals I cut out, um, I printed out. And I'm going to use a few of these on here. Um, so let me get these cut. And I'm not sure. These I will use the squares. These I will most likely take my X-Acto knife. And I will I will put them on. Um, but I, I won't do that on camera because that does take a while. But let me get some of these, these squares cut like this pretty little face. I wouldn't cut her. Um, and let's see, let's set her aside. And these I just printed out on regular, um, a matte finish. cardstock you can get at Michael's or she will be cut out I didn't want to put these on photo paper because I don't want that shiny look cut out <sighs> my poor dog <clears throat> who had stomach surgery emergency stomach surgery a couple months ago she's every now and then she has a bad bout and she starts 
throwing up and um, she uh, licks the floor frantically and I know her stomach is upset so the vet told me I could give her two Pepsid tablets but I don't know what's going on with her she does it again in January I think I'm gonna have to have the vet do a workup on her um, I just feel so bad for her she's only she'll be three in January and I don't know what's going on with her but I feel really bad for my little girl all right so let's start with a um, anyone it doesn't matter and I'm going to move some of my stuff here and I'm gonna do a quick sew I'm going to do a quick sew around here. So just bear with me. And I hope I don't run out of bobbin thread. all the way around. I think I'll just come up the side a little bit too with the straights so just to give it a little just to give it a little dimension. I really don't want to run out of uh, thread. So we'll just do it this way. So I just did a just enough to offset it. And again, I don't want to leave these um, threads hanging on these tags. So just flip it over and grab this little loop here and you, it brings it right through. The same here. Just pull it a little bit, grab that loop, and then you can tie it off and snip it. This is why I don't do a lot of this um, on camera because it's just busy work. I don't know if you want to sit through and watch all of this, but I'll do this one on here. And then I'll do one, maybe just using some washi tape. Um, then you just snip these. And then that way when you back it, you won't see any of this either. Okay. All right. So that makes a nice clean stitch. All right. So let's see, um, I am going to distress this a little bit because I distress everything, almost everything. I just think it all also makes the colors pop. All right, um, I'll get these girls done to see which one which one might be the best for here with the colors and you can also if you want to let me get a little uh, piece of black If you want to really make her pop on here, um, a lot of times I'll I'll do this as well. Let me get her. Take your take your photo or your print, whatever you're using. And get her on here. Um, I don't need to line it up perfectly. Then I cut around it. And then on my, if you have a 
creative memories board how I get a uniformed frame around it. I don't know if you can see the camera angle. I put the picture just inside the plastic line here. Can you see that? I'll kind of rotate it so you can see where I have it positioned. And then you get a nice clean little uniformed uh, frame around it. And then you don't really have to worry about um, them being not even. So there's my little, my little, my computer's busy this morning. And see, it just adds a nice little frame around her, her where she stands out where otherwise she would just kind of blend in. If you want her to blend in, that's fine. So we're going to add, we're going to add Jane. because I like, she looks like a Jane to me um, there. I also have some, I have some stickers, some like your s &H green stamp stickers that I'm thinking I might add along next to her, the blue chip. Which I really like. So I may add these right down. And again, I guess, you know, we're just collaging on top of a collage which <clears throat> this is when your your imagination can really um you can have some fun i have all these tickets here but i don't know luxury liner luxury coach let's see what we can do here um, more tickets, more tickets, queen tickets, you don't need kitty park. Let's see, I could add a nice little And then maybe we can add a nice flower. Um, I have all of these, this bucket, this bin of flowers that I've um, purchased over time. This is pretty. I think we'll put that right there. All right. Okay, so let's start with the blue chip. And I just kind of set things aside because um, I can very easily, as you saw how I <clears throat> did not cut the <laughs> paper right, um, I can get distracted easily. But this time of year, I, I could say it's the time of year with Christmas and everything coming up, but it's not. It's just, it's me. Um, that right up on that line I'm used to framing a lot of things that I do from you know scrapbooking 
family photos so often um, because I always took my boys photos and um, framed them so they would stand out certain certain pictures I didn't do it to all of them I'm gonna set this here because my glue again is dripping I don't want to drip all over my table In this mat that I work on, I like, it's uh, from Heidi Swap, and um, it really, you can wash this right down, so if I get stuff on it, it just, it comes off quite nicely. But I'm not going to be doing, I'll be making videos, but I'm not going to be posting anything over the Christmas weekend. Um, everybody's busy. I figured they won't be watching. I want to spend time with my family. I want to get out. Like I said, it's, it's a very gloomy day here today, but I want to get out and snowshoe because um, Christmas Day, we're supposed to get rain. And that is going to make a mess. It's going to take all the snow away. And then we'll be back to ugly brown snow and dirty, grungy, grimy look. And it won't be pretty anymore. Okay, so there's our first one, and I will get this top on my glue because, once again, it's leaking all over. Um, I think what I'll do for this is get a nice, um, let me get these made first. I'll get a nice light blue. Um, backing for this you can just leave it like this as well I mean you don't have to back it um, which is kind of fun to write on or whatever so this is our this is the first one all right we'll set her right over here um, let's do a smaller one and again I think on the smaller one I gotta look at my bobbin I'm really low on bobbin thread but I might be able to get um, a little bit. I can at least get a couple lines, edges on this. Maybe I'll just do this bottom corner. Hold on, bear with me. I really have to, I have been sewing paper a lot lately and I've got to, I've got to change my, get my bobbin going because the worst thing you can do, I just did a little bit here. The worst thing you can do is um, when you're sewing on paper is have your bobbin run out and then you have all of the needle marks and then trying to line everything back up is a real chore. Um, it can be done, but it has to be done with patience and okay. Now I have you're going to see this three by five on here. I had the master board um, labeled on the back, so I remembered that I needed to cut these into three by fives. Okay, that one. And that one. And then again, it's just a nice clean little stitch that you have. 
So I'm also going to use some washi tape on this one, which I think is fun. And you definitely want to grab a contrasting. Um, I want that to show, so maybe I will... I'm going to put this right, right here. And again, because I'm going to back it, it doesn't matter that this is on the back because I'll put a, another one on here. Okay, so let's see. I want to use one of our special gals because this is all about women, this journal. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? And I think I will back them all with the black on paper. I think she's cute with the puppy. I'm going to use her on this one. So again, I'll get her a little antiqued up here. Her, she's a little bit smaller, so I'm going to just glue her down. And I'm sitting here at my craft desk. I've got a nice big window to my right, and I'm just waiting for, I have packages coming from UPS and so I hope that they get here in the next couple days because there's a few Christmas presents I'm still waiting for. Okay. And again, I'm just, if you have a creative memory cutter just line it up just inside that this plastic edge and you you can pretty much keep it all keep it all uniform ah, the only thing with this mat it's hard to pick up your little scraps all right Okay, we're going to put Molly right here. And I'm going to off-center her a little bit. I'm going to put her here. And let's see what I have for... Do I want to use... Another flower? I want to show you another technique that I do. Um when you have a full flower like this and it's too big. Um, I want to get something a little bit smaller because I want that black to pop. I want this to pop through a little bit. All right, we can use this one. So what I do is I will cut this in half. Um, and then I will use one side for another. So, <clears throat> here we go. I'm sorry about the scratchy throat this morning. I just... So, I want to make sure that I have my stem. Oh, I haven't focused. I have my stem here. So, I'm going to actually cut this starting here. And I'll just cut it straight up. All right, so I'm going to cut it just like this. And then, see, I can just put this right here like that. And then I can use this other, this other piece can get it out. I could use this other piece on another 
um, I would use it over on, let me put it here so you can see a little bit better. I could use it on a side like this. So if it's too big for what you want, just cut it in half and throw it back in my bin and it's good to go for the next round. All right, so we're going to put that there. And let's see, I didn't pull a lot of different uh, embellishments out. I have these New York Central Railroad Company tickets, but I don't want to cover that up, not really. Oh, let's see. Um, let me look at Tim Holtz. <clears throat> I have a, I have a bin over here of Tim Holtz. Let me get out some of his smaller, his smaller items. Oh, let's see here. I tried organizing these, so I do have. Most of these are the larger ones in here. Find quality. Well, we can find something. We can find something. All right, let's take a look at this here. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay. And I think these are all airmail. <laughs> I don't want that. Let me open this up. Usually by the time I'm done making these, my desk is just... <sighs> looks like a bomb went off. Um, these little things are so cute. All right. Oh, we could do 5-4. Looks look like a little puppy. Five for what? Let's see. All right. Let's see what we might want to use here. Like that. Ice. I want that. I want her to be the focal, so I don't want to get it too... I don't want to get it too jumbled up. Um, Cause I don't want to take anything away from the photo here. I do like this here. So you know what? I'm going to look at my little sayings that I'm using throughout the journal. Let's look at Tim Holtz, his sayings, and maybe I'll use a black well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this glued down because um, I do like the placement of this and I won't be moving it. So let's get this glued down. My hands get so sticky you should have seen them yesterday when i was finishing my the two master boards i had glue all over my fingers because for the master boards i use this yoohoo stick and i just um get everything good on there and when i glue this i'm going to leave this open a little bit here um So I can slide that sticker underneath it, and then I can get, um, then I can glue it a little bit after. All right, let's see. I love my paddle. I don't know what I would do without my paddle. So let's get this down. Let that set. And then this is open right here so we can slide that under 
this. I will. Get this here. I think this is one of my favorite parts, and I'm sure it's everyone's favorite part is it's all fun. The collage boards are fun, um, but embellishing them afterwards, that's where your creativity can really come through. There we go. There. Okay, and before I forget, I need to get the edge of this. I need a new. I've used this. You can see how it's all indented. I have tons of these, but I don't know. I don't want to use them up. It's it's terrible. I should change it out because when I do it, you can see it gets all over my so sometimes I just turn to the side and I let it fall on my rubber mat underneath my chair. Okay, so that's all taken care of. All right, so let's look at a little saying for here. Let's move this stuff. And then we'll do one more after that, and then I'll, I'll call it a day with you guys. All right, so... This one, travel the world to find the beautiful. That I need to use for this picture here. We can do this one next. Um, wish I could find something. Hold on tight to your dreams. Um, how about love with all your heart? That's usually what you do when you when you have animals, isn't it? And I'm going to tuck this one underneath as well a little bit so it doesn't hit the... Um, even though it's sticky, I put a little row of glue on here. Come on, Barbie. And just lift this up a little bit. Press that down. There we go. There we go. But I want to get this. Ah, I'll do it. I have to be patient. There we go. There. I just didn't want it touching the stitching. There. All right, so that one is done. So now we have two, we have two nice uh, journaling tags, and we'll do one more. And uh, like I said, I'll call it a, a day. Everybody's busy with Christmas, and um, I want to just, I just wanted to do a short little video. So here we go. All right, this one I think maybe I'm going to do a vertical one again because as we tuck these in, I want the I want the women to show. So I think this one, because it's a longer, um, where did that go? Come on, ladies, help me find a, oh, travel the world over to find the, the beautiful. Because this is a little bit longer, I'm going to take a, um, actually, maybe I could use, a vertical and then she can still be popping up and out so let's do that and then the saying we can put right down here all right so let's get her spiffied up here looking like all the other gals and she should fit quite nicely right on here so I'll be able to cut her. I'm not going to glue her. I'm going to tape her on, cut her off, cut her off. I think she was out in a bar drinking. Let's cut her off. Let's cut her off. OK, 
Okay. All right. And we will cut her down. God, cut her off. Cut her down. It's not sound very positive, is it? Gotta be positive. All right, we're gonna go right. Down in that crease. All right. Now this is what happened. I get on a roll and things are really moving along and I got the creative juices flowing and I cut myself short because there's other things that I I want to do but I guess I can always come back later on I'm going to use some washi tape here as well now I might use instead of the black I could use the the white here that would be kind of fun keep it light I love gales um, I absolutely love Gail's, uh, her, this blue paper that I downloaded and I'm using in these collage, collage boards. There we go. That's fun. Like this. Let's get this here. I'm going to leave that like that because, again, I'm going to back these. You can see the glue, how it gets on your fingers. Sorry, and it's rather annoying. I guess I am going to have to change this um, pad out because it just makes a mess. I'm doing this off camera to because I don't want it all over my stuff. All right. And this needs a good washing. All right, so we're going to put her, shall we put her there or? I think we need to put Sally over here. Doesn't she look like a Sally? I have a friend that her hair is very similar to this and it's blonde and, and her name is Sally. Um, and I don't look at calling anyone a Sally as a derogatory um, comment. I know a lot of people find it derogatory. I don't. I don't mean it in a derogatory way. That's probably why I don't see it as being derogatory. All right, let's look at another little bit of Tim Holtz here because um, this is a little bit bigger. So we might be able to go with a little bit larger I know you're saying no don't use that bird it doesn't go it doesn't go let's see what else we have ah here we go this we could slide in here, seeing that it's a travel. And there's a little bit of red in her camera case. My dad had a camera case just like that. I still have it. Um, he had some really nice 35 millimeter cameras. That one I'm keeping. I've sold a lot of um, my mom and dad's items on my... 518 Vintage Girl on Etsy. Um, some of my mom's old 35 millimeter cameras, and but I'm keeping my dad's. All right, I am going to, and here's a, here's a mile. Here's a travel. Miles traveled. This might be kind of fun to put. Yeah. So we have our map. We have a miles traveled, which is 
a lot of fun. We're going to put we're going to put this all right here and call it perfect. Not that there is anything perfect cuz perfect doesn't perfection and perfect doesn't live in my world. Okay, so I need to put her back down so I can get a good feel of where this car needs to be placed. So we are going to keep her right around here. All right, so we're going to move it just to the left a little bit because I want that traveled to show. What would we do without Tim Holtz? He has come up with the best ephemera. Fun ephemera. Okay, I have to put my top on this because as you can see again, it's leaking. The other day I used it and it was fine. There was no leaking or nothing. Okay, so Sally's going to go here. I want this to go to the end. And I think, yeah, we're going to come in a little bit. So that way, this little hole. All right, that's this, this little hole will be covered up. All right. These are so much fun to make. I hope you try them. I hope you try a master board because they are, they're so much fun to make. And um, your tags, your tags or your corners, um, They just come out so pretty with a variety of colors and, you know, you can, so I've shown you how you can just use washi tape. You don't have to sew around these. I like to, I just, I just think it adds a little bit uh, more, but you don't have to. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can also slow stitch, um, you know, just get a needle and thread out and you can do X's, um, you know, just just be creative. That's that's what this art is all about. Just being creative. All right. Now let's get our travel the world over to find the beauty. And we're going to put this right. We're going to put this right down here. And again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it cuz I don't want it I don't want it to peel up. There you go. All right. So there you have it. Travel the world over to find the beautiful. Someday we'll be able to travel again once this COVID is out of our hair and out of our lives. Um, I really miss traveling. So let me get my... So just as a little recap... Make your master board, cut your, cut your um, tags out, your postcards, whatever you want to call them. Again, on the vertical, <clears throat> on the vertical ones, you can make your tags. On these, I think I, I will cut the edges off. I'll do a nice cut. Um, maybe we can do that again, and you know, continuation, a nice cut. Do your punch, and then you can make tags. Um, but here's your, here's a nice, and I will, I don't, I haven't decided yet. I think the, the ones with the washi tape, I will back. I will just cut another three by five piece 
um, and back that. Maybe I'll just do it right now with you or cut it and then you can you can trim it. Um, this one I will probably most likely leave. Um, this will be nice in a, a slide, a, a pocket in the journal. And then this one I will back because of the washi tape. So in my next video, I can show you what I back these with. But um, that's today's video. And I really hope that you try um, this collage art. It's just, it's such a nice way to um, make a beautiful, colorful postcard or tag journaling card. So thanks everybody. Again, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, give it a great thumbs up and um, have a wonderful Christmas. I'll see you again, you know, after uh, Christmas week and make sure you remember to tell everybody how much you love them and what they mean to you. Um, life is short and it goes by fast. So we have to take all the little moments that we can and enjoy and really let people know how we feel. So have a great Christmas, everyone, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.